the Ravens' COVID-19 outbreak appears to be abating, as the team did not add any new players to the reserve COVID-19 list Tuesday for just the second time in more than a week. Baltimore also continued to get players back, as defensive tackle Brandon Williams, quarterback Trace McSorley and cornerbacks Tavon Young and Khalil Dorsey were activated from the reserve COVID-19 list. Young and Dorsey, who both suffered season-ending injuries, reverted to injured reserve. It's unknown whether Williams returning to the 53-man roster means he will play Wednesday in Pittsburgh. The Ravens' run-stopping nose tackle suffered an ankle injury early in the loss to the New England Patriots on November 15 and sat out the following game against Tennessee. McSorley's return means he could be Robert Griffin III's backup against the Steelers. Otherwise, the Ravens would have needed to call up undrafted rookie Tyler Huntley from the practice squad. McSorley, a 2019 sixth-round pick, has yet to attempt a pass in a regular season game. The Ravens held a distanced walkthrough conditioning session at the Under Armour Performance Center Monday night, then another walkthrough Tuesday before traveling to Pittsburgh. It was the team's first on-field work together in a week. The only other day over the past week that the Ravens didn't add a player to the reserve COVID-19 list was Sunday. The latest was cornerback Terrell Bonds, who has been away from the team after suffering a season-ending knee injury earlier this month. On Monday, the Ravens activated outside linebacker Jalen Ferguson, guard DJ Fluker, defensive tackle Broderick Washington and defensive back Iman Marshall from the reserve COVID-19 list.